Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and in this tidbit tutorial I wanted to show you guys how I like to wrap a top drilled sort of bryolette style bead but this could work for anything that's um, regardless of the shape so long as the drill um, pattern is through the top like this um, and there's a little bit of something up top to hold on to. Now, I like to use the thickest wire that I can manage to fit through the hole of the bead, but you want to keep in mind if you're using maybe a softer gemstone like turquoise or malachite, or maybe something more brittle um, like a crackle glass, something that has like little fracture lines through it, you, um, you don't want to put too much pressure on the inside of the hole because whenever you're bending the wire against it, you could be chipping off little pieces of your bead. Um, so here I am using just 20 gauge wire from parawire.com. This is bare copper because for this piece I'm going to be oxidizing it and stuff, but their enameled stuff works phenomenally and you don't have to worry about it tarnishing or turning you green and they have it in such a wide variety of different colors that there really is something for every project. So I'm just going to thread through. This is a oh, one, two, three, four, five, six inch segment of 20 gauge wire and I'm just going to thread through about two inches in and then I'm going to bend up and that's pretty standard for wrapping bryolettes but if you guys haven't I do recommend um, checking out my easy wire wrapped earring tutorial because we go over making itsy bitsy spirals in depth there so um, while I do feel like this is a good beginner project, practice definitely makes for progress. So I want where my wires are crossing to be kind of in the center line of the bead. And I'm gonna come in with my mandrel pliers. You could just as easily use a paintbrush handle or your round nose pliers, just whatever you have. I just, I like this because it helps me to be very consistent in my loop sizes, which I think is great, especially if you're working on like earrings or something like that. And I'm just wrapping this loop around, trying to keep that nice and snug on the mandrel. And now I'm going to wrap around both. So I always kind of picture it, if this is the head and this is the body, I want to wrap the scarf around his neck. So around both pieces, I'm going to do once and then twice. And we could actually, if we gave ourselves just a little bit more space, uh, we could make a bigger spiral. But I'm going to have this be the back side, just because I think it's super cute to make a bunch of little spirals. So I'm here I'm using super petite round nose pliers. And you can see, these are my regular round nose pliers, and these are my petite. They really have a super fine tip. There are links down in the video description to all the different tools and materials that I'm using. So I'm grasping the wire as close to the tip of the wire and as close to the tip of the pliers as I can. And I'm just going to make a wee bitty curly cue, just like that. You could just snip it and have that be that, but I like a little bit of something. So now we have this length of wire coming off to the other side and I'm going to grip this and just kind of train it around and truly anything at the, at this point um, beyond here is just decorative. You could just, I uh, wouldn't just snip it right there, but you could just wrap it like how you did the other one and have boom, bryolette. But I wanted to show you guys specifically how I did this one. So we have it crossing into the front here and I am going to do our itsy bitsy spiral where I'm going to put pressure on the piece from both sides of my fingers. I'm going to kind of grip with both here, but I'm keeping my finger centered up right there. And then by twisting, that gives us a really nice little loop. Just like that. And now I'm going to continue building this around. This copper is very close to dead soft if you're getting it from Rio Grande or something like that. So it's very supple and conforms to where you're putting it. And now we've done those two wraps. We could, let's go ahead and do a third wrap. If you want a great big rosette here at the top. There we are. Just continuing around. Yeah, and I think I liked it better with one less, but... You can always, you can always unwrap it. So now I'm going to wrap 
around here once and just following around, keeping the wire snug to the sides of the bead. Just like that. And now I'm going to come in with my wire snips and give myself... I measure with my hands because I typically always have them on me, um, whereas I don't always have a ruler with me. So just a finger width, which is about three quarters of an inch maybe. Oh, well, that's lost forever. And now I'm going to take my round nose pliers again gripping as close to the tips of both the wire and the pliers. And I'm doing a little bit of this like um, if you're using a screwdriver and turning it, it's that motion, but I'm turning it far inwards. I don't know, sometimes those noises help me. I don't know what that noise was supposed to be though. That is the sound of pliers making a spiral. And then just kind of swoop, smush that around. Now, I, I definitely recommend practicing your spirals until you get the hang of them. That is what I save all of my little bits and pieces of scrap wire for. Um, said it once, it's worth saying again, practice makes progress. And this uses such a small amount of wire that if you booger it up, um, just snip it off and try again. But that is how to make a little wrapped bralette thing. <laughs> And the way that I'm going to use these, you could attach it directly to an ear hook. Here I have some, where's my other pliers? Here it is. Jump rings. And these I coiled and cut myself from para wire. And I'm going to hook through there. And I'm going to hook through, oh, it's not quite big enough for that, is it? Hmm. Well, okay. It's not the same metal tone, so don't attack me in the comments. <laughs> Um, but just grab a jump ring for the sake of demonstration and now I would hang this from a necklace. Now I would have it be a matching metal tone and if I were using, this is 18 gauge wire right here, so I would actually do two jump rings side by side. That way it would look a little bit more substantial and also hang a little bit more centered. But so that is how I would use these. You could also have them be charms on a bracelet or anything like that. So uh, if y'all have any questions, comments, or ideas, or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. If you enjoy our free tutorials and would like to support the creation of more of them, uh, consider joining our Craft Along Club for as little as a dollar a month or $12 a year. Uh, you really help us to produce these free tutorials and you also get to participate in our exclusive live streams and all sorts of different stuff so links to everything are down below and until next time you guys happy crafting Mwah. bye <laughs>